Walters Wallowo here on CraniumRadio.com. That was brand new fucking Atoll, Overgorged, in gestation. Arbor Off, Bury Your Sins, played some Dead World Reclamation, He Who Radiates Darkness, The Exiled Martyr with Catatonic, Six Million Dead, The Nazarene, Bloodletting, and I missed them playing this live last Friday at fucking goddamn Club Red. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really upset about it. Played some oppressor god there, mechanical manslaughter, and a double shot of I Pariah War Engine along with Silencer off of their Hate Prayer EP. And I have Mr. Paul Sokol with Paul Sokol Sold Out Secrets on the line. How are you doing, Paul? I'm doing great, brother. How are you today? That sounds like it was an awesome lineup, by the way, that, the, that you were just mentioning. All those bands kick tons of ass. Yeah, well, you know, it was uh, in in lieu of we we had Mr. Stephen Pop on air just a little bit ago for a quick little interview because uh, they're playing with Fit for an Autopsy this Thursday over at uh, Club Red. Nice, nice. That should be a good show. It's a pretty stacked lineup. Yeah, yeah. Lorna Shore, Discarney. Yeah, it, it's going to be a fucking killer show. It is. It is. It is. All right. So. Mr. Sokol, um, we're going to get to the sold-out secrets, but I'm going to start something. I'm throwing you under the bus right now. I'm throwing the cup on you. Love it. Uh, <laughs> this, this is going to be something new, just a, a quick introduction to the sold-out secrets every week that I want to do with you because I think this will be fun, the two of us. Okay. I'm going to recommend a, I'm going to recommend a band to you or an album. I'm going to recommend an album to you. Okay. Or a band. And you do the same. And then when we follow up next week, we'll uh, discuss our, our experiences briefly. And uh, maybe we can turn each other on to some new music. I, I like that. That's super cool. I'm all about discovering new music. I'm opening up a notepad right now. So I guess you go first nice. then. Go, go. I mean, you probably okay, yeah, know I'll... more uh, than I do. Just because you talk to no, so no, many no. bands. No, this, this, this is great because uh, there is a band. They're coming to town November 30th. And uh, I, if you can, I'd love for you to check them out. Great interview, but it's a band called North Wind Wolves. And I'll, I'll send you all the info on them. Okay. Uh, they, have, they have a new co- album coming out in December, but I will share it with you because I'm allowed to do that, being that you are an affiliate of the station. So that way you can check out their new album. And uh, next week when we go on air, we can discuss it briefly. And, uh, yeah, I, I think this will be a fun little experiment and endeavor. So. Right, and then I'm assuming the listeners will get to learn about some new bands too. So, so is it my turn? Absolutely. Should I should I throw a random band at you? Um, yeah, yeah, just give me something. Oh my god, that's like that's like the name of a car. <laughs> um, what I've been listening to lately that you might not know or anything. Well, anyway, so I've actually I was listening to Exhume today, uh, their new uh, Terror Vision album because apparently. They're going to be playing that in its entirety on 70,000 Tons of Metal, so I needed to prepare myself. I'm sorry. Yeah, no. No, no, not Exhume. Somebody else. I'm fucking my shit up. Anyway, I was listening to Exhume today. Do you listen to Exhume to have you? Yes, yes. And, um, yeah, the new album is sick. Yeah, it's it's pretty dope. The, their album is horror. What was I thinking? I'm thinking some other band. I'll look back at my... my uh, you said Terror Vision? Is that what you were saying? Yeah, yeah. That's, that, I believe that's aborted, isn't it? Aborted. That's what the fuck it is. Thank you. Yep, I'm yep. getting my my grindies confused. Um, so uh-huh. yes, no, aborted. It's totally understandable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, aborted's <laughs> gonna be on seventy thousand tons of metal, and they're gonna be playing Terrorvision in its entirety. And I was listening to it this morning, and I'm like, God, this is gonna slay. Uh, so yeah. You so, know what else is cool about that album is the the album artwork. Yeah. It's total Terrorvision. Yeah. Yeah. Good it's, shit. It's dope. So, okay, so I'll listen to some North Wind Wolves, and um, uh, I guess, uh, does it have to be a band you've never heard of, or like just something that is... No, nah, okay. nah, throw me an album, okay. even if I know it well. Okay, well, uh, like I said, Terror Vision, that's what I was listening to today, uh, so go go check that out, listen to it again. Okay, I, I will do that, because uh, you know what, I'm not that familiar with that album, I, I love Aborted. And I, I know that they slay live. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get myself very familiar with <laughs> Aborted. And uh, next week we will talk about it. We will. We will. Especially the, the first track to the second track. It's, you know, it's, it's, you don't see a lot of good intros on, like, you know, death metal albums and whatnot. Usually they get right into it. Uh, I was impressed uh-huh. by it. Like, they did a pretty good job in uh, kind of setting the mood and then <laughs> it just goes crazy. 
which we love. Yeah, the the last Analepsy album did the same thing for me. Like track one and track two, I can't listen to any other part of the album unless <laughs> I listen to those first. So. All right, Paul, well, let's uh, kick off the Sold Out Secrets, man. This is where Paul explains a, a little fucking niche of some business goodness, some well, well received and very knowledgeable advice. If you're running a Facebook page or if you're trying to own your own business, Paul has the know-how. Last week we uh, did part one of the series and uh, this week we're doing part two, which starts with Paul. So part two of the series is actually getting into detail on, on the first thing. So last week I just gave an overview of a business model that I call the business stack, which is a customer experience focus way to look at business where you're looking at everything through the context of what the customer experience is. And the very first part of those, the, there's seven parts to it. Uh, just as a quick recap, you know, people receive an offer through the marketing sales and fulfillment of what you're selling. And that is done through your operations, which is done by your people. And then the last layer is finance, which runs it all. And so that's what we're going to be talking. That's what I'll be talking about this week in the next uh, couple of weeks. I'm going to be digging deep into each one of those because I gave a high level overview last time. So we're going to do a deep dive. So today we're talking about the offer and this is what the customer receives. This is, so it's either a product, it's a service. So if you are a, if you're a speaker or an author and you're doing speaking tours, that's what your offer is. Your offer is to, you know, do a keynote speech or something like that. If you're a band, you offer an album, you have a shirt, and then you offer a live show, for example. Um, the offer is always going to be rather, you need to know who you're targeting with your offer in order to make a relevant customer journey. So it has to be a good offer in the first place. If you have a hamburger and it's trash, it doesn't matter. All the marketing in the world ain't gonna ain't gonna do anything. Or if you're going after the wrong target, you may have the bombest hamburger in the world, and if you have a room of vegetarians, you're gonna be broke, right? So uh -huh. that's something that you can really. And I know music, musicians and whatnot don't have any problem with this, but really making sure that their offer is just just money. Uh, and this is again for any business. Any business has their offers. So like uh, like Red Out right? Club Red. They, the reason that food is so good is because Paul comes from fine dining and he meticulously experiments and tests and researchers until he has a good offer. So they have right. a, the, the, the jalapeno cream cheese burger. He spent, mm -hmm. I, I remember he, he belabored for an entire month just to figure out how to get that jalapeno cream cheese patty right. <laughs> and and that's what you, I know, and, and that's why it's so damn good. And so, and no matter what you're doing, uh, as a business, as a band, as a nonprofit, you got to be really clear on what your offer is, because everything else comes from there. So make sure that you are doing the proper research. Make sure that you're solving the right problems that your targets have. Because at the end of the day, that's what an that's that's what an offer does. This thing solves this problem for you. This hamburger solves my problem of being hunger. You know, this um, this aborted al album solves my problem of needing to headbang. Um, Keep children rocking solves the problem of schools need instruments. So right, and even even with Cranium Radio here, it, mm -hmm. it's not just the music that we play, but the you know the interaction with the DJs that that we offer with like our chat room and. The listening experience if our if our product isn't worth a, a shit in the beginning then why would it be worth anything later you know and for, forgive my bleep there <laughs> no that's that's totally cool and, and you said a really important word there which was experience and so we're gonna we're gonna start talking about the beginning of the customer journey uh next week which is marketing but really the offer is really kind of only as good as the experience Yep. So you could have a totally bitchin' hamburger, but the restaurant is trash. Or operationally, it takes you 30 minutes to get it. Or people-wise, they're just not trained and sloppy, you know? Or financially, right. it's, just, it's just too expensive. Um, 
definitely make sure that when you're designing like new offers and new things to you know new products new services to sell that you're going to go ahead and you're going to go ahead and consider the experience of that offer and there is a tool, Brina just reminded me, there's a tool that happens in the people layer, but it's actually very important for the offer. Uh, and, and I'll talk a little more about it when we get to that week. That'll be one of the, the second to last week. It's, it's, it's called, we call it the DVPM, which stands for the Dream, Vision, Purpose, and Mission. And, you know, th this, this shows up in other companies, you know, your core values, mission statement, and that kind of thing. You can't really make a good offer until you're clear about that why. Like, you, right. can, you can make it, but, you know, unless you're super clear about why you're doing it, you may miss the mark. So, in fact, I'm going to really quickly pull up Warhead's DVPM because that was something that I worked with them on when we first started. Uh, and it's mm -hmm. funny because that actually allowed, uh, as soon as they got clear on that, they they lost some band members because it, it got it got serious it got real uh, and some people weren't it, it, it became work it did it became work because hey this is a business if you want to be a, a cool jamming local band there's nothing wrong with that but the minute it becomes a business you start to find who your key players are exactly exactly and so I know that I'm talking about the offer however uh, as as you know, Brina reminded me of, it is really important to know what like your DVPM is. So I just want to quickly give an example of that. And then you should, you'll be able to see how that's going to influence the kinds of offers that they make. Right. So there, and, and maybe this has changed since then. This is, this is, you know, uh, an, a later version, uh, an earlier version of it, but basically the dream is that Warhead keeps metal alive by playing traditionally inspired speed metal while sticking together as brothers for a living. Um, Warhead, a world-class speed metal band with wealth, riches, and a rabid global fan base. That's the that's the vision. So check it out. This is the mm -hmm. purpose: is to play the best old-school speed metal in the world. It's fun to perform, fun to listen to, and brings joy to each individual fan. And the mission is to continue to release albums on the regular and build ourselves up to do world tours for hundred thousand dollar guarantees. So that absolutely impacts the kinds of offers and stuff that they make. So yes, they're still writing music. They're still, you know, producing merch and shirts and things like that. And that's why they're doing it. And so when you're really clear about why you're doing what you're doing, you're going to be able to properly research and develop the right products and services to offer to your target or targets. Cause you can have multiple, you know, McDonald's sells hamburgers Absolutely. to kids and adults. They just have to talk about it differently. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Awesome, dude. Great advice. So, yeah, it all begins uh, there, secondly, with the offer. After you get your operation going, mm -hmm. you got to have a great offer. You know, just like a Cranium Radio offers you some of the best in all the music that you can listen to, and we have some of the best DJs spinning it. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not just a metal station. We're a variety station. So throughout the day, you can listen to death metal. You can listen to thrash metal, Arizona metal. Uh, we have classic rock in there. We do cover tunes. Yeah, that's our offer. And we, we offer you some of the best outside and inside of, of the metal industry, you know, and that's why we do interviews and uh, live broadcasting and, you know, people like yourself being on air. We That's our offer, to bring you the best in metal and if not just that, but the best in knowledge of metal and how to do your, you know, do business within the industry. So, Absolutely, man. Awesome. I would say that's exactly what you offer. Now, um, I know you like to do live broadcasts, Walter. Uh, are you guys going to be doing the Dead of Winter tour with us this year? Are you going to going to follow us around and, and broadcast? Yeah, yeah, we're going to go. Where is it? Flagstaff, Bullhead, and Tucson, right? Uh, yeah, Kingman. Yeah, Tucson, Kingman, Flagstaff, and then we're going to oh, be at. Two... What did I say, Bullhead? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah six of them. So it's, it's all similar, and yeah. then. What's really exciting is we are we're, we're going back to our roots of our very first show in 2015, and we're we're returning to a two day festival for the Phoenix show. So we're doing the Road to Dead of Winterfest tour, and then that next weekend we're going to do the full blown two day festival in Phoenix. And I would love to have you guys there at all of the shows. No, that that's our plan, dude. Uh, Jeff and I have already discussed it. Jeff, Sarah, and I have already discussed it, and. Uh... <laughs> 
yeah, we're, we're doing the three day tour the one weekend. And then the following weekend, we're doing the double shot over at club red because that's, that's our home base, dude. So yeah, yeah, we're going to be there with you. It's going to be awesome. Rackney cabinets is coming down for, uh, the, the, uh, club red shows. So you guys are going to have uh backlining from arachnid cabinets, yep. custom cabinets on both stages, which mm-hmm. sounded amazing in Las Vegas. So that's, that's exciting. Yeah. Now we're, we're looking forward to that dude, big time. It should be fun. And, and speaking of sponsorships, as you're talking about it moments before this call started, I got an email from liquid mountain death water and it looks like we're oh. going to be able to get working with them too. So it's going to be exciting. Did you have to, uh, sell your soul to them? Did you have to sell your soul or? I mean, because you can worth. get a free case of liquid mountain death water uh, just by signing over your soul with a little bit of your blood. That sounds. I um, love their commercials. They, <laughs> they've got some great marketing going on. <laughs> they do. So actually, that's a great example. What do they offer? Water. But they fucking are, water. You can get it anywhere. It's water. You can get it anywhere. <laughs> and what's special is their target. They're offering water to people like us. You know, like you know, just just. You know, metalheads that, you know, tongue in cheek, nothing's really too serious. And uh, they, they do yeah. have that environmental uh, message as well to, you know, you know, fuck plastic and all that jazz. But that's part of their yeah. offer. They're very clear on their target and they're very clear on who's not their target, um, which you, you'll see. They actually put up some of their like one star reviews and whatnot. They, they, they put up their hate mail. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they put up all their hate mail that they get. And it's great because, you know, what's messed up. And because I'm not the most frugal of people in the first place, but if I were at Club Red and I needed a water and they had a fridge full of Aquafina and Liquid Death and the Liquid Death cost a dollar more, I'm a fucking metalhead. I'm drinking Liquid Death Mountain Water. Absolutely. <laughs> I would buy it. Dude. I would go. buy it. Again, that's a good yeah, offer. And they know it. Found the niche. Metalheads need water, <laughs> especially when they're touring in those hot, sweaty vans. <laughs> Goddamn right. Uh, well, right on. Um, so next week, Paul, we'll get into chapter three of, of the eight steps mm-hmm. where we're putting on our, our um, what would it be, our MA patches, our marketing anonymous. Uh, anonymous. Yes. Anonymous. So uh, we're going to step three next week. Uh, we did operations last week. This week was uh, our offer. Mm-hmm. So uh, I look forward to next week. And also you'll be uh, chiming in on the North Wind Wolves. And mm-hmm. I'll give you my little rundown of the aborted album, Terror, Terror Vision. Yes, I'm excited to listen to that tomorrow while I work. So uh, please send that over. And um, if yep. y'all are listening, please engage in the chat. If you've got questions or something isn't making sense or whatnot, let me know. Uh, and I'll be more than happy to answer whatever questions I can. Awesome, Paul. Well, I look forward to next week, and we'll talk to you then, my friend. All righty. Have a great day, everybody. You too. Bye.